Looking for options on filling your Lincoln Autolu pumps? Well, you've come to the right spot. Today, we dive into the methods we offer for our ALS pumps. We are focusing on our popular ALS unit shown here, QLS series, P203, and our P653S pump assemblies. The question we often get concerning this is, how do you refill the pumps? Let's go over the methods we offer to help you decide which is the most efficient for your application. First one up is actually already set up for you. All the grease units arrive with a lubrication fitting already mounted to the pump body from the factory. This allows you to attach a powered grease gun, manual hand pump, or a standard control valve used with our bulk dispensing pumps. Stepping up, the next fill method involves adapters and cartridge loaders. The universal fill adapter and the manual filling pump adapters permanently attach to one of the metric M22 by 1.5 threaded ports. Concerning the P203 units, earlier versions were equipped with the fitting directly mounted to the body, while current units were updated using an adapter. If yours is one of these earlier models, utilize one of the extra pumping element ports as a means to attach the filling adapters. The universal fill adapter requires a standard grease gun tube assembly which threads onto the larger end so the grease from the cartridge can be driven into the reservoir. The handheld fill pumps function in a similar fashion. Select and attach the filler connection to the pump, prime the hand pump with a fresh grease cartridge, thread the pump onto the connector, then drive the lubricant into the unit with a firm press of the handle. These methods are great for smaller units or pumps in hard to reach locations where bulk dispensing systems have limited access. This brings us to our last option. Bulk filling from a refinery container. For large establishments or locations with multiple systems, bulk dispensing is the most cost efficient option. We offer a wide range of pumps to use in these custom systems. If you require a specific setup or looking to verify your system already in place will work, feel free to contact our technical support staff or your local leaking rep for assistance. For those looking for a kit, we offer this ALS bulk fill kit. It utilizes our 25 to 1 PMV grease pump to dispense a higher volume of lubricant. Also included in this kit is a high flow nozzle. Simply install a necessary high flow nipple to your pump, connect the nozzle, then proceed to fill the unit. Bulk systems are quick and efficient and allow for operations to continue with limited downtime. Oil unit filling. Not a very common system out there, but we do have oil versions of these pumps. Some units will have an oil cap mounted to the reservoir with a built-in strainer. You may pour oil through to strain out debris. However, units with a threaded top or no top at all, we recommend using a dry brake coupling to limit contamination and keep the unit sealed. A small example is one I have here rigged up using a simple digital oil meter and a coupler out of one of our other pumping kits. Just one way you can customize your setup to fit your needs. Safety and best practices. First and most important, always wear personal protective equipment while working on any lubrication units. Also, never leave the unit unattended while filling as there is a risk of overfilling and spillage. Most pump assemblies have a maximum fill line on the reservoir. If one is not visible, stop filling when the level reaches about one inch from the air vent port. Before you begin filling, wipe the mating surfaces clean before attaching a coupler or the tube assembly. After filling is complete, wipe off any caps and couplings before installation to reduce contamination. Lastly, notice some of these pumps have a threaded top. Please do not remove this top for refilling purposes. It is only there for maintenance access. Removal out in the field to refill greatly increases the risk of introducing contaminants into the reservoir. We must stress the leading cause of system failure is contamination. Please be proactive in making sure these units remain sealed and contaminant free. Since contamination is the number one cause of failure, we recommend installing an inline filter either to the fill port of the auto loop pump itself or onto your bulk dispensing pump assembly. Lubricant from a bulk container may have suspended debris, which if left unfiltered, may enter the system. Installing a filter provides one of the best chances at limiting contamination related failures. That's all the time we have. Any questions on the topic shown today, feel free to contact our technical support team. We would love to hear from you. If there's any product demonstrations or processes you would like to see from us, leave a note in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.